YouTube, what's the deal, man? It's the KID, that DID, back again with another video, man. Another one. Hey, so by the title and the thumbnail, today we will be telling a story time. Story time about the first time I got drunk, bro. Now, this ain't gonna be too wild, too crazy, but in all honesty, man, this it's gonna be a good story time. I can tell you that much. So, um, first and foremost, do me a favor, like the video before we get started, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Dang, the sun really. It's gonna find me wherever I go, cause I'm just, you know what I'm saying. That's just me. But nah, so go ahead, pause the video real quick. Go get you some snacks. Get you a drink, get you a milkshake, get you whatever, you know what I'm saying? Because we're about to get into it. So let's get started. So this story time goes back to what? It's 23 right now. Um, 2019, my 19th birthday, man. That's crazy, like, to think how long ago that was. So, like, I'm 22 right now. Damn! But 2019, that I feel like forever ago. But then again, it don't feel that long ago. I know it sounds crazy. But anyways, so I'm at my granny house. Me, my granny, my little cousin, and my big cousin. Actually, I was just talking to my big cousin up on the phone earlier. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to bro. You know what I'm saying? He, he making big moves back home. I'm proud of that guy. But nah, um... So yeah, it, it's like December 2019, my birthday up on the 21st. So I think this was like, it was around my birthday for sure. I could tell you that much. I, it wasn't the day of my birthday. It was like the 19th or something like that. I could really pull up the, um, hold on, let's see if I can find it. Because I'm going to show you, I might just include the clip up in here of how I woke up the day after. But so December 2019, what day was it? So it was December. It was actually the day after my birthday, 5 p.m. That's crazy. I'm going to show you the clip. I'm going to have a clip up in the video. But yeah, so now it's me and my cousin. My cousin a few years older than me. At the time, I was 18, turning 19. And he was... How old was bro? Bro was 24, 25, I think. I forgot how old bro is right now. But I think at the time, he was like 24, 25, 26. Something like that. He ain't 30. I know that much. And he ain't 20. So, I know he older than me. But anyways... I'm always, you know, hanging around him. You know, it's, it's a big cuz. So I always want to, you know, be around bro, chill, hang out, look up to bro, for real, for real. So, I, I don't really be outside like that or whatever the case may be. I don't really party like that too much. So, I decided to chill up in the crib. It wasn't too much going on. Um, I really wasn't up in the mood to do nothing for my birthday. It's my 19th birthday, so it was just kind of like, you ain't 21, but you ain't 18 either. It was just one of them weird ages, if that makes sense. So, talking to my granny, you know, if if you know my granny, now this was the, this the same lady from the other story time of when I went to the rave. That granny, that's who I'm talking about. So, she she's a very um strong lady i should say like you know she's well respected like we don't play that when it come to her like we don't disrespect her or nothing we don't even talk crazy around her none of that you know what i'm saying like she go to church all the time like that's that's her so just just try to picture that up in your head right so i used to always joke about drinking like some 1800 you know what I'm saying? Shout out to shout out to Boom. You know what I'm saying? Drinking eighteen hundred or whatever. So I I I experimented with it from time to time. Little shots here and there. You know what I'm saying? But that was it. Nothing too crazy. So 
I used to joke about it around my granny and my cousin and just everybody all the time, all the time. So the day of, or the day after, which is the 22nd, the day everything happened was the 22nd. So I remember starting my day, we wake up, moving around like my granny had cooked some breakfast you know she cooked some breakfast for me well for us but for me really because you know my birthday and whatnot so we eating we chilling hanging out chopping it up she even asked she was like what you want to do for your birthday or what what you want to eat something to that effect i don't really remember or recall all the way but it was something to that effect so I was just joking. I was like, oh, yeah, like, we're going to get drunk, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I was just saying that to see her reaction on what she was going to say. But she was like, oh, okay, that's cool. Like, I'll get you a bottle. And I didn't think too much of it. I, we was just all laughing. And I'm thinking she playing. But soon to find out, we're going to know that she was dead serious. Like, she was so serious. So after we finish eating, by this time, it's probably, what? one o'clock one p.m something like that so i remember taking a nap i remember eating and then i remember taking a good nap and i had woke up maybe like an hour or two later so it's like three o'clock four o'clock so um my cousin was talking like you know we chopping it up we talking he even asked me like you know what we doing blah 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 i was like oh you know i don't really have no plans i ain't trying to do nothing so we was talking about getting a bottle we was talking to my granny about it she gave us the card to go get a bottle long as we up in the house she was cool like long as we was doing whatever up in the house she was cool which is real that w you feel me so we go to the little the the, the liquor store or whatever we go get a bottle of 1800 so we walk up in there i'm definitely not old enough to walk up in there but you know long as you long as you ain't doing nothing to to show your age or nothing like that and you ain't old enough to be up in there you should be good for real for real so i'm up in there my cousin like oh so what you want to get blah 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 i'm like that right there the 1800 so we got a bottle of 1800 now it was probably like this big of a bottle like not the little bottle but not the real big bottle it was like you know the regular size bottle right so we get back to the house you know give her you know her keys or whatever by this time it's like 5 30 when we make it to the house so we up in the room we playing 2k we up on the game playing 2k chilling i'm um I'm on my phone doing something. The bottle sitting up on my dresser. So my cousin's sitting up on the end of my bed. I'm at the top of my bed. Now remember he at the end of the bed playing the game. I'm at the top of the bed up on my phone. I think I was on the phone or I was talking to somebody. Something to that effect, however it went. But he's down there and I'm up here. So then finally, I think he the game ended or whatever. He got up. Crack the bottle open, like, all right, come on, let's get it started, you know what I'm saying, blah, blah, blah. Now, this is the first time of me really just drinking. Like, leading up to this, like, I would take little shots here and there. Like, I remember I had went to a little game night with him and his people, you know, his friends or whatever, and uh, everybody older. So, I got to, like, you know, s s try to hang with the big dogs to an extent, but I wasn't really drinking like that. At least not as much as we're about to drink, so... We open the bottle. We don't have no shot glasses. So we're drinking straight out the bottle. I'm going to add a clip in right here. What you said, bro? What you said? What you said? Shot for shot, my boy. So we drinking straight out the bottle. Now, remember, the bottle was this big. We going shot for shot, shot for shot, shot for shot the bottle like right here so maybe like 10 15 percent not not even 15 10 percent of the bottle is left so it's about this much left in the bottle so you know about 30 minutes then pass by this time it's like 6 20 maybe 6 20 6 30 something like that probably not even that late so 
it's not phasing him because he he drinks. You know what I'm saying? Like this ain't nothing new for him. Me on the other hand, like I'm not I'm not feeling it, but I'm feeling it at the same time. Like I'm not falling over this and that. Like I'm still chilling up on the phone and stuff. But I feel something. I don't know what I feel just yet. So he playing the game again. Now he's at the edge of my bed and I'm at the top of the bed. So this is when I knew I was like kind of getting there. Or I was out of it. I was sitting there and then like I started seeing two like this. He was at the end of the bed and I started seeing two. So just imagine this him and this him. And it was like this, but just spinning around, spinning around, spinning around. So I'm like going like this and stuff, but he don't know this because all of this is going on behind him. And also, like, this is my big cousin, so I ain't trying to, like, hey, bro, I'm tripping, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm trying to be tough, trying to be strong. Like, you know, this big cousin, so I can't look weak in front of him. So I'm like, all right, let me just walk to the restroom, like, so I could get myself together. So, so I could probably throw some water up on my face or whatever the case may be. So up the way the house set up, like, across from my room is my granny restroom. And then, like, you walk out, like, you keep walking, then you go down. And you go around and make another turn. That's the other restroom. So I walked all the way to that restroom. I walked to that restroom fine. I was okay. Like I made it to the restroom. I was cool. So, you know, turn the water on. Turn the water on. Throwing it up on my face. You know, all that good stuff. So before you know it, I feel kind of nauseous. So I'm like, oh. I mean, I don't remember really eating nothing except that big bref- breakfast from earlier. So I'm like, maybe I, I don't know. Like, maybe that's what it is. So I tried to burp and I had to like throw up. So I'm up in there throwing up. Like, I thought it was just like smaller than what it was. I'm like, oh, I'm good. No, nah, I wasn't good. I was up in there throwing up. Up in my, I guess when you're drunk, you don't really take into to effect like the time. So up up in my head, I'm thinking I was up in the restroom like five minutes tops, right? I think I'm up in the restroom five minutes tops. No. Mind you, it was like 6.30. I was up in the restroom like to like seven o'clock, like 30 minutes throwing up. Like I remember I was throwing up so much I had stopped and I was just like leaning over the sink like this. So then my cousin, he finally came and got me or whatever. And he was just like, oh, um, he knocked up on the restroom door. And he was like, hey, bro, you good? Like, what you doing? Blah, blah, blah. And I told him, I remember telling him this. I was like, nah, man, I ain't good. You know, I'm throwing up and this and that. He he, like, what? You throwing up? He opened the door. And obviously, like, I threw up in the toilet. Like, you know, I flushed it, all that good stuff. So it's not like I threw up on the wall, on the floor, nothing like that. It wasn't messy. I was just over the sink like this. So he came, he got me, walked me back to my room all the way back. Like, the entire way back to my room, I'm, like, staggering and everything. So I think my granny had popped out, and she was just, like, kind of laughing a little bit. So soon as like I went back to my room, soon as I touched my bed, when I say soon as my body touched my bed, it just was like this, like I blacked out, like I blacked out. I don't remember nothing. I remember falling up in the bed, like he got me to the bed. I fell over up in the bed and I just blacked out. And I remember him coming to check on me. He got me like some water and stuff. But besides that, like, I don't really remember nothing after that. After I walked to my room and touched the bed, I don't remember a thing, like nothing. So by that time, if I had to think, I would say it's probably like 730 by the time I went out. I was out at like 730. So I don't wake up until like 1 p.m. the next day, bro. 1 p.m. and I'll probably add another clip of that right here. So anyways, I wake up. Now, my granny have a cat. His name is Prince. Me and him had a love-hate relationship. Like, 
Prince and I had a love-hate relationship. Like, I never had him up in my room because my bed used to be off the floor. So, it used to be this much space, like, up in there. So, the door opened up. If I keep it open long enough, he'll run up in the room and he'll run up under my bed and I can never get him. So, I would always, you know, slide him out because she had wood floors. I would slide him out my room or, you know, just hurry up, shut the door, whatever. Like, I'll leave home. I'll come home from work, you know, music bumping or whatever, pull up back up in the driveway. He'll be at the door waiting on me like a dog would be, which is crazy. So, like I said, love, hate relationship. So, I wake up from being blacked out. It's like one o'clock. My fan is going. And Prince is right here in my face, like right up in my face. He was a little cat too, like a little kitten at the time. So he was just sitting there, just looking at me, just staring up into my soul. And I was, I didn't even have the energy to try to kick him out or nothing. I was just like, you know what? It's cool. Cause I feel like I got hit by a butts. Also a little side note on that same dresser that I had the 1800 on, I had a big gallon of Ozarka. Ozarka is just this water back up in Texas. A big thing of Ozarka water right there. So I get up, I look at Prince. I'm like waking up, my eye like this. I'm looking at Prince. Then I look over and I see the gallon of water right there. I almost threw up a second time. Like just from looking at, cause it's clear like the 1800. Just from looking at it, I almost threw up. Like, it was just that bad. I finally, you know, shake back, get up finally, walk out the room, and like, I was talking, like, you know, they was up in there talking. I finally come around the corner, everybody making jokes, laughing, like, oh, my granny especially, like, that's one thing about her. She's going to joke about everything which is cool because i got the same type of sense of humor so ain't nothing wrong with that but when you at the end of the jokes you don't find nothing funny and at the time i didn't you know what i'm saying so she she laughing and she like oh yeah you want some more 1800 like making little jokes like that and i i can't even do nothing i could just sit there and just like kind of laugh about it i was like man i can't believe i went out like that bro but nah, man, that, that's a memory for real, for real. And since then, I will not even look at 1800. I don't even drink like that, for real, for real. But if I had a choice, I'm not drinking no 1800. I could tell you that for a fact. Like, I will not drink no 1800, man. To this day, because of that, like, you know. And a quick little mini story, quick little mini story real quick. I've just been having like bad luck with alcohol all my life. I'll just say that. So like I said, quick mini story. So it, there's this place back home by the, um, it's like a little establishment, a little arcade for kids called Chuck E. Cheese. So I used to go there all the time, all the time. Me, my granny, my cousins, like, have birthdays there. The whole nine. The whole nine yards, you feel me? So, my granny used to always carry two cups. Two Chuck E. Cheese cups. Two identical cups with her. She used to always drink. Her drink of choice was, or her choice of drink, I should say, was Jack Daniels. Some whiskey. Some of the strongest stuff ever. I ain't gonna lie. I, ain't, I know it's probably some stronger stuff out there, but I'm going to tell you how I know. So at the time, I was probably like six of this story time. Um, so long story short, she had two cups and I'm running around. I'm running around playing and stuff like I think it was at my uncle's house. I'm running around playing and stuff. And I remember this vividly. Like I picked one of the cups up thinking it was water took like two three big swigs just and it was the cup with the jack daniels in it bro when i say my whole chest my throat my tongue my mouth my lips everything was burning and like i said i was six or seven years old so the crazy part about it was 
I licked the couch, I licked the carpet, like just whatever I could to get that sensation out of my mouth. Like it was just so bad. Thinking about it, that is crazy. Like, you know, but when you're a kid, you do some wild stuff. So yes, lick the couch, the carpet, like all of that. And I finally went to the restroom, to the sink to just get some water. Like, you know, I didn't know what to do. So I went to the sink to get some water. And I don't really remember what happened after that, but to this day, like my family still joke about that incident. Like to this day, like one of the most craziest, but funny incidents that has happened to me, man. I ain't gonna lie. So like I said, I've been having run-ins with alcohol unintentionally and intentionally all my life, man. So. Hey, drink responsibly, bro. And you know what I'm saying? I hope y'all enjoyed this story time. Stay tuned for more content to be on the way. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and stay cool. You feel me?